What's up, Sensi fans? It's Patricia, and today I'm going through my testers and I'm sorting everything out because last night we found out what is coming back with the upcoming fall and winter Sensi catalog. I have my catalogs here with my X's and things like that, plus I have a list of notes, so I should be good. I'll grab my iPad if we need it. So, right here, um, and, and some of these things might have dust because they've been put away, but this is what I store my testers in if someone was to message me and say they wanted to borrow my testers. I have the majority of my testers in here and by saying that I mean this is not a full set of testers but this white is a full set of testers. So if I open this up, which I think it's backwards, but let me just turn it around. This has all the testers for the current catalog. So that is great. Um, what I'll probably do is go through everything and I'm gonna sort it all out and I'll take you with me. And yeah, some, some things that are, you know, these are testers on the side here that I don't think I'll have to pull from, but I might have to pull from the bottom. These are like my spring and summer loose ones. These are my fall and winter loose ones. And a lot of my testers are in Okay, so I think what the easiest thing to do is go through the current spring and summer testers. We're gonna put those in piles and get those all filed away and then we'll bring in the coming in fall and winter scents. So hopefully this will work okay. I'm not great at this kind of stuff. I'm work I'm figuring it out as I go. Uh, aloe water and cucumber, that is staying, so we'll put it back. Aloha citrus is not staying, so I'm gonna put it off to the side. Amazon Rain is staying, put it back. Apricot Vanilla is not returning in fall and winter because it's a spring and summer scent. Baked Apple Pie is staying. Bamboo and Rainfall is retiring as a spring and summer scent. Maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll just backtrack for a second and I would say Aloha Citrus. I always want this one to go away, but it stays. I just don't really care for this one. It's not a good performer for me, so not one that I like. Uh, apricot vanilla, I will probably mm, either pick some up or club it. I'm not sure. I do really enjoy this. And bamboo and rainfall is, I'm not sure if that's going to return. I would say this one might be in jeopardy. Obviously, these are just my predictions, but um, I don't need to pick up any more of this particular scent, although I do really like it in cleaning. All right. I'll try to remember to say uh, banana leaf and bamboo. Wait a second, bamboo and rainfall is not in cleaning. This one is in cleaning. Uh, see, even though they're too similar. So one of these is probably gonna stay next year and one of these is probably gonna go. So this one is not staying in fall winter, so I'll put it off to the side. And I must say, uh, try not to look at my hands. I have rough hands, so I'm trying not to show my fingers. Very bright, that one is not staying in the fall and winter because it's more of a spring and summer scent. This one is one that I don't typically warm a lot of, so I'm okay. I don't need to purchase anymore. I don't need to club it, but uh, I think it's probably safe. It's hard to say, it might be in jeopardy. When I say in jeopardy, I mean it might not return next spring and summers. Berry Sweet was a new release this season. It's retiring as a spring and summer scent, not coming in the fall and winter. I think we're okay in my house, not picking up anymore because I don't really like it. <laughs> it's okay for me. Um, yeah, put that off to the side. I'm putting them kind of neatly over here and I'll show you what I do here soon. All right, we have black raspberry vanilla that is staying, so I will put that back. We have blue agave and melon. That is a retiring spring and summer scent. I do really like this, but I haven't got to warm it. So um, I, I always said if this came back, I'd put it in my club. So maybe I'll put it in my club and then figure it out. What do we have next? Blue Grotto. That is staying in the fall winter catalog, even though it's kind of a spring and summer leaning scent. We have a really dark blueberry cheesecake, uh, so sometimes the wax color changes a little bit. This one is staying in the catalog, so I'll just put it over here. We have Bonfire Beach. This one is a spring and summer scent that is retiring, so I will put this off to the side. Normally I'd put this in my club, but I might just chance this one. I have a good feeling it's coming back, so I would advise you to club it if you're, if it's one that you love, because don't risk it like me. Sometimes I just take risks. So Bonfire Beach, retiring 
not sure what I'm gonna do with that one. Now here we have an interesting one, By the Sea. By the Sea has been in every catalog since I've been a consultant in 2018, and it is not coming in the fall and winter catalog. I would suspect that this is gonna be a spring and summer seasonal scent, and then depending on how well it does there, it will either stay or go, but I think it'll be back just in the spring and summer, but remember, club it if you love it. So we'll put that off to the side. I was kinda of surprised to see that one on not coming in the fall winter, but. Uh, Cake Me to Paradise is a spring and summer bakery. It's a new release. I suspect we will see this back, but a lot of people didn't like this one. I personally liked it, so I'll probably pick up one or two. So there we have that one. Camu Camu, that is retiring spring and summer. I think that one is probably going to be safe. It's been around for so long, I'd be surprised if it didn't come back. Cinnamon Vanilla is staying in the catalog, so I'm going to just put this back in the container here. And once I get my transition testers, what I do is I, I put them in alphabetically in this container. Clean Breeze is staying. And the next one is should be Clothesline. They always go together. Yes, Clothesline is staying, so we'll put that in. Okay, I'm just going to move this over just a little. All right, what do we have next? We have Coastal Sunset. This is a retiring spring and summer scent. Um, it's in the woods category, I believe. I think we'll see this one back. I think it's a good performer, so I like that about this scent, but I don't need to purchase any more. We have Coco Lime. This is well loved in the YouTube community. I'm not sure how what, well it's loved in the overall real life community, but a, a great performer. If you love Lime Sense, put this in your club. I don't need to purchase any more. I tend not to purchase this until I feel like warming it because for me, sometimes the wax kind of goes a little wonky. It turns color. So next we have Coconuts for Coconuts. I love this one so, so much. This is a club scent for me, and so this one will definitely be going to my club, and it is retiring for, because it's a spring and summer scent. That one I'm, I'm hoping will come back, which is never know. Coconut Lemongrass is staying in the catalog, so that goes back. Uh, dashing. Dashing is not coming in the fall winter, which is surprising because it's, it originally came out as a fall winter scent. So this one I will probably club because I remember loving it so much. I haven't, I've only worn one bar, but I'm going to club it until I decide. So hard to see the writing on that. So I apologize. We have a spring and summer scent here. It is Daydream Oasis. This one is not staying over. Obviously it's going to be re uh, seasonally retiring. This one I think is popular enough. It will come back. I don't need to purchase any more just in case or club it, but I think we'll see this one back. All right, Evening Sky. This is a new release, and I really, really like this one. I don't need to club it, because I have a feeling it will return for another year, and then I'll kind of, I'll take a gamble on this one likely, but you never know, I might throw it in my club at the last minute. So yeah, really nice one. All right, French Lavender is staying, so we will put that back in the bin. Go Go Mango is a spring and summer scent that's retiring. This one they did a Sunspiration line on, so I think it's safe enough, but you just never know. It's a light to medium, light to medium performer for most people. Putting it in my pile. Havana Cabana. I always put this in my order to give it another try, but then I take it out for something else. This one I've struggled with in the past. It's not performed well for me. I want to try it here in my new place. This one's retiring, but I will just chance it, and then if it comes back next year, hopefully I'll pick up a bar give it a try here. I don't need to club it and I, do, I doubt I'll repurchase more before the catalog ends. But you never know. I'm trying to be good and not buy a lot of back stock. Uh, hibiscus Pineapple. This is a really popular scent over the years. I'm not sure how well it's been doing but at one point it was a bestseller. I'm not sure if it's a bestseller this year. I can't remember. But yeah, this is a nice um, fruity floral scent. It's long lasting at about a medium light or a light. So I think that one will come back. I don't think I'll pop buy any more, but um, I think it'll be back. Jammy Time, that's staying in the catalog. So we'll put that back in the box. Johnny, staying in the catalog. We have Just Breathe, that's staying. Kakui and Coconut, this is a seasonal scent that's retiring. And this is very, it's a perfumey and pretty scent. And I think I've fallen in love with this lately. So I'm not sure if I'm just going to pick up one or two or club it. So it's on the fence on what I'm going to do, but you can see a little bit of sweat there on the, let's open this one up. Yeah, see what happens to the wax? It kind of gets icky. But anyway, that's, that's the way it goes. But yeah, I, I do like that one. Beautiful color wax. 
Like My Day is a seasonal scent. I, I don't need to repurchase anymore. This is a masculine leaning fresh scent. So uh, I think this will be back. You just never know, but I think it'll be back. Lemon Drizzle Cake is retiring. I'm not sure if this is retiring for good or they're going to make it a seasonal bakery scent in the spring and summer. If you love this one, club it. I don't need to purchase any more myself. Lemon Sorbet, one of Scentsy's many lemon scents, but this one has been around for a while. It's a seasonal scent, so it's not coming in the next catalog. I don't need to purchase any more, but it's, it's kind of like a lighter, more sophisticated lemon in my opinion. Lilacs and Violets is a very strong floral. This is obviously a spring slash summer scent, so we don't need to get that in the fall and winter, and I think it'll be back. It's pretty popular. Look look at my Luna. <laughs> Luna is normally blue, and this one's green. Sometimes I'll just buy a whole new set, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Luna is staying in the catalog, uh, but my Magnolia Linen is retiring. So let me put Magnolia Linen off to the side. I'll show you guys the side here in a second. I don't think I need to get more magnolia linen. I warmed a lot of it this year, so I'm fine. Mahalo Coconut, that is sweaty as well. Uh, this one's retiring because it's seasonal, so I think we'll see this one back. This one tends to kind of discolor over time, but you can see a bit of sweat on that, so there you go. Still smells good. Make a Splash, this one I think is discoloring to a lighter intensity color, but this is a strong apple melon i think green apple melon scent let me smell it yeah it smells good it smells like a, i i've tried this in cleaning and i don't care for it in cleaning and it's almost too strong for me in wax but mango matchas oh sorry i just put those two back what am i doing give me a second you're probably you probably like yelling at me on the other side of the <laughs> okay sounds like i'm playing checkers over there hopefully i'm not screwing up anything here mocha doodle is staying so that is currently in the catalog uh, now and it's staying in the fall winter moon orchid is a uh, spring and summer oh my gosh come on it's a spring and summer and that's not going to stick around so I would worry about that one a little bit because I'm not sure how well that one's doing in sales mountain sunset this was really popular last year and I didn't hear a lot about it this year so I worry about this a little bit for next year returning so it's not coming in the fall and winter, but I worry about this one a little bit, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I think it's in jeopardy. Mystery Man is staying, so we'll put that back. A newborn Nursery is staying. Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. I just did a tester Tuesday of, on this one, and um, this is a great performing wax. It's very summer to me, so tropical, fresh air, like a little bit shampoo tendency. So this one is going in the retiring pile and I don't need to purchase any more. I think it was a bestseller this season, but that never means anything. If you love it, club it, that's what they say. Paradise Punch is retiring and so is Peace Lily Be With You. Now Paradise Punch has been around for a long time. Uh, I think it, it always just kind of makes it through, but you just never know. And Peace Lily Be With You, I really like this one. I think I have one bar in reserve. Come on, there you go. I think I have one bar of this one, so I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll need to repurchase anymore. I do really like that one though. All right, what do we have here? We have Pina Colada Cha Cha. That one is retiring. I'll probably club this one because I do really like it and I didn't warm any this year because I don't have any. So uh, I'm just trying to be good with my wax and try to use up my older stuff, that's all. Pineapple Mango, it's a retiring scent, and I I don't know if this will come back. It's kind of in that bubble where it may or may not, so if you love this one, maybe put it in your club just to, just to secure it. Pinkberry Sandalwood, that is a new release, and guess what? It's staying in the fall and winter catalog, so I'll put it back in the bin. We have Rainbow Sherbet, that will be retiring because it's not coming up. It's very um, fruity and, you know, saturated and thick and sweet. And I don't need to purchase any more, but this is one that is a great performer. Raspberry hibiscus tea, not coming back. Um, I think I have one of these, so I think I'm going to be fine. And I suspect we'll see that one back. Sandalwood tangerine. This is not uh, staying in the catalog, and this would be a scent that could stay in the catalog in my opinion but uh, so I think this one's in jeopardy but 
I'm, I'm just going on a hunch. I don't, I'm not going to buy anymore. It's not my kind of scent. Sip and pull side. This is retiring. It's a new release. I think we'll see it back next summer. It's a really, um, seems to be doing well. So I think I have a bar in reserve. Skinny dipping. This is a very popular scent. It's not staying around because it's very uh, spring summer, but this one is in a brick in the Scentsy Club bricks. Um, it's been around a long time. I suspect we'll see this one back. My kids don't really like that, so I, I tend not to buy it much. Squeeze the day is staying, so I'll put that way up here. Starburst Sky is not returning in wax, but it is staying in the body. So I think we'll see this back. This did very well this year, so I think we'll see this back next spring and summer. I'm one of the people that get the weird notes, so I, and I might try it again just in case, but I'm, I'm a little scared too. <laughs> Uh, strawberry lemon cake. This one is not staying. So this is very spring and summer oriented bakery. So not really surprised. This is a lighter performer for some people, uh, me especially. So I'm not sure. I think I have some to try, but I, I think I'm good with the one bar that I probably have. Sugared strawberry is usually a, a spring and summer scent only. So I'm not surprised to see this one retiring. This one, I don't need to pick up more of. Sometimes if I feel like strawberry, I'll pick it up, but I don't think I need to do that. Oh my gosh, there's so many scents. Uh, Summerberry Melon, maybe I should make this in parts, I don't know. Summerberry Melon is a former brick scent. They brought it in the catalog this year. I think we'll see this back, but you never know because those bricks <laughs> sometimes are the curse. So uh, if you love this one, club it because you just never know when something's been out in a brick. I still have a brick, so I'm, I'm good. Um, I think I have a brick and a half. Uh, Summer Moonlight. Summer Moonlight is a very beautiful scent. I didn't warm any this year. Um, really nice uh, bath, uh, bedroom scent. It's like a strawberry sandalwood scent. Very pretty. So it's kind of lighter. Let me just smell this one. Yeah, it's pretty. This is one that I don't really think much of. And then I put in the warmer. I'm like, oh, this is really nice. <laughs> so put that off to the side. My legs are starting to fall asleep. I might have to do this in parts. Sandcastles, a new release. This one is retiring, but I suspect we'll see it back next spring and summer. It's lighter though, so keep that in mind. Sunkissed Citrus, surprisingly, is not returning, so I think we may see this transition to a spring and summer type scent, or maybe they're getting rid of it. Who knows? I have a brick of this and one bar, so I'm, I have plenty of wax on that one, but if I didn't, I would probably get more. I do really like it. It's, it's a lot of citrus scents. I think it's Lemons, limes, oranges, and grapefruit. More orange than anything. Tangerine creamsicle. It used to be an orange color. It used to be that color, and the wax is a little darker here. This one is always a spring and summer seasonal scent. I think this, sorry, I'm swallowing. I think this one will do well enough to return. I don't need any more. I'm going to just chance if I want it. If it's destined to be, it'll come back. Tropic Nectar. Uh, this one never really spoke to me for some reason. It's it's kind of one of Scentsy's, I call it generic fruity scents, but it's more tropical leaning, so like a tropical fruit punch type scent. So if you like those kind of scents, pick more of this up or put it in your club. All right, we're getting down to the vanilla bean buttercream is staying, so we'll put that in the thing. Very vanilla, that is staying. So that was a new release that's carrying over. Watermelon Tangerine, very spring spring and summer oriented, so I'm not surprised to see this one go, but this is usually a top seller, so I would be surprised if we did not see that one back. Weathered Leather is not a favorite of mine, but it is staying for all the people that love it. Good for you. Welcome Home. Can't really see that very well, but I'll show you the bottom. Welcome Home is staying, so we'll put that back in the catalog. Whipped Vanilla Lavender, that one is retiring, and I'm not sure if we'll see this one back, because I think they're probably going to bring in Provence Lavender, but you just never know, so... I don't really like lavender too much, so that's a, you know, I don't need to buy more. White Amber and Silk, I've recently discovered the soap, and I absolutely love the soap so, so much that I have this on my order list to buy. And now I'm thinking, should I buy it? Because what if I buy it, then I love it, then I gotta club it? I don't know. Let me know what you think I should do with this one. Should I give it a second chance? Ah, oh, the dilemmas. When you, when you do get to go back and warm Scentsy Catalog's staples and scents, you're like, man, I really wish I would have more time to go back and revisit those because there's just always so many LTOs. White Amber Antique is retiring and that's surprising because this one has been around for a while since it's uh, come into the catalog so that one is still available in laundry as far as I know. Wild Cherry and Sakura. Sorry some, not, some of them are hard to see. Wild Cherry and Sakura. It's really early in the morning here. It's probably like seven in the morning. I just want to get this done before the kids wake up. 
So this one is not carrying over, so I'll put that over here. It's a new release, so we'll probably see it back, but don't go by, you know, new releases always returning, because a lot of them got axed, as you're going to see here in a second from the fall winter. Woodland Meadow is um, retiring, so um, this one I think it's probably like mediocre in sales. I, I don't know. I, I think I have one local that really likes it, but I don't really, really hear a lot about it, so maybe pick that one up if you like it. I think we have three more. We have Stitch, which is staying. I usually put my license bar way, way over to the side. 100 Acre Wood, which is very discolored, is <laughs> staying. And I think this one's um, Wizarding World. That's staying. And I think Angel is staying, but I don't have the tester that because I forgot the tester one time. So what I'm going to do is pause the video, and I'm going to grab all of those testers that I just talked about that are leaving. Whatever I have here, I'm going to take it out of here and put it in my piles then I'll show you my piles so I'll be right back all right so these testers were the only ones that were at our staying in the catalog so I'm just gonna leave them in there with some order forms I'm gonna remove this uh, catalog and when we get our new catalogs I'll put an updated one in there so we'll just get rid of that now we're gonna swing on over here let me just try to do this carefully and we are going to um, add any of these ones that are here also into the pile and yeah so um, I don't these are three that are coming back so I'm just gonna leave those these are things that can be warmed I'm gonna put pina colada cha-cha in its own pile so what I've, I'm gonna just move you again so there are all my testers so let's see if I can do this without dropping the phone Okay, so we have Magnolia Linen can go here. So this is kind of what I do. I go through my testers and I just organize them. Then I'm gonna put them on little individual bags. Ruby Nectarine is not coming back, Sugar Blossom. These are ones that I can still warm because they're not Soak and Rays, Peeling Apple, Vitamin U, Apple Teeny Splash. Okay, so I could only put two or three back in my pile. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take every single pile there that you see and make a little baggie. I will show you kind of what I'm doing here in a second. Drew is just getting up so I have to go get him situated but I will probably show you what I'm going to do and then I'll show you when I'm all done. Okay I forgot to tell you something. So in my cabinet that you can sometimes see in my videos I have drawers and in each drawer there are testers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a drawer and I'm going to say okay so here I have bags of Aloha Citrus. So what I do is I take the testers from Aloha Citrus that are in my piles, I add them to the bag. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through all that. Uh, I don't know if you wanna watch me do all that. It's not very exciting. And then I'll, well, we can kind of, I'll show you how they look in the drawers once I'm done. So yeah, I just put the other two in there. Then all my testers are in one spot for Aloha Citrus. And I take my drawer and I just put them back in the spot then I grab the next one apricot vanilla apricot vanilla is my next one and if I don't have a bag and I only have one single tester I usually put it over in my single tester thing so yeah I just put the them in here that way if I want to just grab that scent and warm it I can warm testers usually what I do is I keep one tester of a scent because when I get my transition kit next time let's say apricot vanilla returns I will get a transition set of testers, which will have one apricot vanilla, but I always like to have a second set for my other bag. So I like to have two testers. So if I wanted to warm this, I could warm three testers, but just leave one in case it returns next season. If it doesn't return the next season, I would warm it. Hopefully that makes sense. So what I'll do is I'll go through that and I will go through the drawers, which I'll just see if I can show you up there. Yep, oh, I'm almost knocking stuff down. And then I'll be back shortly. Okay guys, so I'm back. So what I've done is I've removed one of the drawers. This is the start of my um, fall winter tester system. The great thing about this little thing that I have is you can move all the drawers around, they're all the exact same. So right now, um, just let me see if I can show you. This, 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 and this are all spring and summer testers. 
and then this one, this one, and this one I think are fall winter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take out one fall winter tester of, of any scent that's returning and I'm gonna put it in here. And then this particular system, what I'm gonna do is once I get my transition kit that I'm able to order August 1st, I will get a transition kit which will just be the new testers that are coming and I will fill this one up. Now this one is my main tester system and the one underneath here is just ones that I used if a customer was to ask to borrow my testers. All right, so I have a picture from my friend Shannon down in my lap. So we're just gonna go alphabetically. All right, so the first one, we already talked about aloe water and cucumber, that's gonna be in the catalog. Alpine Escape is gonna be a new release. Amazon Rain, we've already talked about apple and cinnamon sticks. So let me just grab my drawer. And sometimes I don't have, uh, so I do, I have three apple and cinnamon sticks. So I'll just take one out and I will put it in the basket or put it in the thing. So then I take the testers that I don't use and I will put them back in the drawer and I can warm those. The next one that's coming is Arctic Kiss, but the next one in my drawer is apple cherry strudel. So apple cherry strudel is not coming back. So I'll just show you. Apple cherry strudel not coming back. So I will just warm through these. And you can kind of see they're a little bit sweaty. Mm, smells good. I've never had good performance with this. So unfortunately for me, apple cherry strudel that did not come back. So if you like apple cherry strudel, I hope you put it in your club. Okay, so the next one is Arctic Kiss. And that one is on my list. So I will take out one of these testers. And I usually take out the oldest tester, <laughs> which is this one. And the reason, the way you can tell is this is new font, old font. Can you see the difference? I will put this one down underneath there. Let me just see if I can move that so you can see it better. <laughs> All right, actually this is a few hours later from the first part because I had to go. So I'm gonna put this one back in its spot down in the drawer. The next one is around the campfire, and that's what I've got in my drawer, so I will take one of these out and put it over there. Put the other two back, and I can warm those. Uh, after around the campfire, autumn hearth is returning. So I have three of those, so I'll take one out, and I can warm the other two. After Autumn Hearth is Autumn Road Trip, and I have some Autumn Road Trip. So this one is returning, so I'll take one out. That one's been around for a while. It's kind of like a fresh, some people think it's like painted leaves, but it's not really like painted leaves for me. All right, let's see here, what's the next one I have? Oh, wait a second. Just put that in the wrong order. Okay, Autumn Sunset is the next on the picture, and it is the next one that I have in my, um, and, and these bags, I just reuse them. That's why they look all wrinkly. I figure why, why waste plastic if I can just use them. They're not scent safe bags, but I don't care. These are essentially scent safe in their own right. So I just have them for organization purposes. Okay, so that's Autumn Sunset. That is a spicy, uh, potpourri kind of scent. The next one we have is baked apple pie, which we've already got in our um, basket because we did that earlier. Balsam Spice is the next one on the list. That one is a new release. Black Raspberry Vanilla is staying in the catalog. Blue Grotto staying. Blueberry Cheesecake staying. Okay, Brown Butter Pumpkin. That is the next one. That is a new release. So we will get that when I get the transition testers. Candy cane buttercream. Now let me just see. So I have um, some loose testers here, and I do have a candy cane buttercream. Uh, so I will put that in there. And the next one we have, let's just go through, because I think blackberry spice, sorry, it's, it's kind of a glare because these bags are so beat up. Blackberry spice, I have two testers, and this one's not coming back, so I'll warm I'll be able to warm those. So I'll just put those in to be warmed. What I usually do is separate them and then I try to focus on those ones. The next one is black currant and plum. I'll show you the back, black currant and plum. So this one is not returning as well. 
So I will just warm through these. Um, so this one's kind of getting a little funny looking here. Anyway, I'm just going to smell this one. Yeah, it's a really pretty scent. A little bit sweaty there. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put that to the side. All right. So the next one in my bin is Caramel Apple Craze. And that's actually where we left off. We left off at Candy Cane Buttercream. So Caramel Apple Craze is returning. So I will just take out one of the, these three testers and I can warm the other two. The other thing I do with testers is if a local customer is getting an order, you can throw those in as a sample. Now, if you can see in here, I actually have space. So I will grab the next drawer and I can start condensing. So this one's pretty full. Okay, it was heavy too. Okay, so after caramel apple crazes cashmere corduroy and wait a second, maybe, oh, maybe I don't have any cashmere corduroy, but I actually do have one loose one here that I can put. Put that over there. All right, then we have cedar cider. So let's see if that's the next one in my basket or my drawer. It is. So I'll take one of these out and I will try to just grab the oldest looking one. I don't date these, so cedar cider is going in. And I'll put that, I'm going to try to fill up this one and then I will, you know, do this one. You'll see once I get going. Maybe I'll try to angle you down just a little. Okay. All right, so the next one is Cherry's Jubilee. Cherry's Jubilee was an LTO scent that is returning to the catalog for the first time. So we've been exposed to it, but not in the catalog. Then we have Cherry Chestnut, which is a new release. So that will come in my transition kit and I'll be able to smell it when that arrives. Usually we order those August 1st and they usually arrive mid-month. All right, Christmas Cottage. So let's see, is that the next one in here? Yes, Christmas Cottage. So maybe I'll just show you the back because it's easier to read. So I have four of those, so I just need one. The reason I do this is just it's just easier to take the whole transition set of testers when I order them and then fill up my main box. But I just want to have a spare one in case. And I have had I have lent out my um, testers before to for tester parties. So that one was Christmas Cottage. So now we're at Cider Mill, and that is the next one in my basket. And you can kind of see the bottom two are sorry, but it's a little wrinkled. The bottom two are newer, and the top one's older. I don't know why I just do that. <laughs> Okay, we'll put cider mill in and that's a really nice apple pumpkin and gently spiced scent then we have cinnamon bear and i do have some cinnamon bear here so i'll take one out cinnamon bear is like cinnamon and red hot red hot cinnamon and clove let's just see that one's full so after cinnamon bear is cinnamon pine cones and i know i don't have any bags of testers of that but i have a loose one i think in here yes Right here, cinnamon pine cone. Sorry, I'll show you the back because it's easier to read. So that will go in. Cinnamon pine cones is really nice. Uh, cinnamon vanilla, that one's just kind of loose up here. Cinnamon vanilla is staying. Oh, and I, you know what? I actually already have one in there. So I just laid that on top because I didn't have any space, but now I have space. I remember I, I have one that I put in. All right. Clean Breeze Clothesline, Clove and Cinnamon is the next one. So we have three of those. So we'll just put one of those in. So it's nice to see some of these um, pictures come out and so we can see which ones are coming back. It's a really nice treat to get that ahead of time. Coconut Lemongrass, we've covered. Cozy Cardigan, that's probably the next bag and it is. Now, I don't know if you can kind of see with the lighting but we have two new release ones. These are previous release ones. And this one's the brightest pink. So maybe I'll, I'll put that one in the basket. All my customers that, that are local to me, if they were to borrow my testers, they're all very trustworthy. But if they were to lend their te my testers out to a friend and my testers went missing, that's probably why I put the older ones in there, just in case. All right, we have Cran Apple Crumble, which I don't think I have in here. Let's see what's next. Oh, I do, Cran Apple Crumble. So I have just two, so I'm going to take one out. Now, I'll tell you what I do. When I take, take one out, 
put it in the bag. The other one, I don't want just one loose in the bag. I'll put it back in my one loose tester. I'll just put that up there. All right. We have cran apple crumble. Then we have cranberry and cardamom, which I usually my new releases, but I'm just going to have one of those, just the way I order things. So cranberry and cardamom, I'll get another one this year, so I'll be up to two. So this one I'll put in my spare, and my new one I will put in the master. Cranberry and cardamom, it does have a little bit of a cherry note. The next one is cranberry candy cane. That is an LTO that's made into the catalog, and it was part of the holiday collection, I believe, and I do not have a tester of that because we weren't provided testers. So that I'll have to wait for my transition kit. So my bag, spare bag, will not be able to have that one. As similarly with Dutch apple bread, that was from the Harvest Collection, so that's coming from the Harvest Collection, making its way into the catalog. All right, an eucalyptus wreath. That is the next one here. Eucalyptus wreath. So that's one. That one is returning, and this bag is kind of ripping, but because I don't have a lot of spare bags, I'm just going to keep going with this one. So we'll just check that in. I don't really care for eucalyptus wreath. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of a little too fresh and herbal for me. And the next one is falling apples. So I think we have falling apples here. Yes, we do. So I'll take one of those out. It is returning. Throw that in the bag. And that, again, I just have one. So rather than put one in there, it takes up a lot of space. I just put it in my loose, my singles. Uh, after fall... Falling Apples is Farm Stand Pumpkin, and that is what's next. And out of these, this is the oldest, so I will put that in. I can just tell the, the smaller writing is the oldest, and the bigger writing, and then the, with the purple. All right, so if, I'll just hold this up here, or you can see that this one's not full. This one's full, so I'm actually going to put it back up here. Slide her in, and we'll take out the next one, and I'll just kind of move this one over put this one down here all right so we just finished farm stand pumpkin so the next one should technically be first day of fall because it's returning I have a lot of these six six is the most I can ever fit in a bag so I'm going to take one out and put it in the back and I really got to get to warming this so maybe I'll instead of ordering a bag uh, bar of first day of fall just warm these testers because um, two testers equals a cube and a half so there we have almost four, four cubes right there, not quite. All right. Next one is Forever Fall. Forever Fall made it way into the catalog. And that one is an LTO from the Harvest Collection. I wasn't a big fan of that one, but I know a lot of people did like it. So I'll wait and get that in my transition set of testers. And the next one is French Lavender, which we already... Um, I don't know if I had one in there, but I don't I don't think I had spares of that one. Um, fluffy Fleece and Frosted Vanilla. I'm sure you, if you're watching my video, you may have already heard, but Fluffy Fleece in Wax and Frosted Vanilla did not make a return, so I will put these off to the side. They are not coming in the Fall and Winter Catalog. So I'm really sorry if you love those ones, but hopefully you clipped them. The next one is Frosted Cedar. This one is coming back in the catalog. So I will put that in. I only have one, so I'll put it back here and my new one will go in the big main kit when it comes. All right, the next ones are hard to see. Gimme Candy, again, single. I think I have it in the singles right here. So in the back, that one's a butterscotch, candy corn, buttercream kind of scent. And then we have Gingerbread Pecan Waffles, so that's a new release, as is Hayrides. Jammy Time, I believe I already have in here, carried over from before. Johnny Appleseed carries over, as well as Just Breathe. Leaves and Lavender is a brand new, new release scent that will come in my transition kit. Luna, I already have in there. Make me Snickerdoodle. Sometimes, I know with the, with the new releases from last season, I have them in my singles, so Make Me Snickerdoodle is right here. We'll check that in the back. That one's coming back. And that one I have extra bars because Sensi sent me a whole bunch one time. And I, I think I did call and let them know. And she's like, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, where was I? The next one is Maple Apple Bourbon. So the next one in my 
basket is Huckleberry Hideaway. So Huckleberry Hideaway didn't, is not returning this year. So unfortunately, I will put these off to the side and I'll make sure I get to warming those soon. Once things don't return, I just want to warm them and get them gone. All right. Um, I'm just going to look at my singles. Maybe we'll look at those at the end because I see one or two that's not coming back. But we'll just keep going. Maple Apple Bourbon is supposed to be, yes, it is now the next one. So you can see Maple Apple Bourbon testers there. That one is returning. This is a strong and long lasting scent. There's a little hole in this bag, but I'm just going to go with it. So I'll put one of those testers in here. These two testers are probably sent up the whole apartment. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that. I've got to fill up this one and then we'll put it back up. All right, so the next one, after Maple Apple Bourbon is Midnight Mahogany. So that was a new release last year, which means I probably only have one, and here it is, Midnight Mahogany. And the, the whenever I turn it over, it's always upside down, but Midnight Mahogany. So that will go in the back. Um, mocha Doodle, Mocha Doodle. I think I already have a Mocha Doodle in here, but just because that and Cinnamon Vanilla were set aside. So let me just tuck this in the back. And that's all I can fit in that. Bin, so I will put it back up here and then we'll slide this one over take this one out I think this might be it for my testers all right so we left off at mocha doodle mystery man newborn nursery are already in here carried over we have perfect peppermint supposed to be the next one um, but this is actually the next one in my basket and it's perfect day perfect day is not returning so it's a pear scent i think it had a little bit of like a bourbon note it was kind of a bright fresh clean pear scent so this one i will put aside to get melting all right perfect peppermint i think i might have just one yes perfect peppermint here we go so that will go in the basket in the back all right, maybe I should move this closer so you can see. All right, after Perfect Peppermint comes Pinkberry Sandalwood, which I do not have an extra tester for. So it'll take me a year to get an extra tester of that, which is fine by me, I don't care. Well, actually, if it's a transition, it won't come in the tester. So sometimes that's why I don't have a full set because transition means you're getting the ones that aren't new. They are new to the catalog from the previous catalog. So our pink berry sandalwood already came out, we're not gonna get a tester again for it. It'll be already assuming to be in your kit. Unless you buy the full kit. Pistachio Woods, that is a new release coming. Pink, or Polar Bear Hug. So Polar Bear Hug, I have five, so it's nice to get rid of one because then it'll sit flat. Polar Bear Hug. This is a, it's like a caramelized, Blackberry jam, um, amber vanilla body carish kind of scent. All right, what do we have after Polar Bear Hug? Pumpkin cinnamon swirl, and I have two of those. So I'll take one out, and I will add the other one in my singles. All right, next we have. Um, Pumpkin roll, sorry, I lost my spot. Pumpkin roll, I have three testers, so I'll just take one of those out. Hard to tell which one's the oldest, so I'll just take any old one, and we'll put this one over here. Rum Pum Plum is a new, new to the catalog scent, but was previously, I believe, a holiday collection scent, so that is a bakery that's gonna be available for the next six, six months, which was nice. Salted Caramel Toffee is the next one. Here we have four testers of those. Take one of those out. And put this, that's a Salted Caramel Butterscotch and Toffee scent. Then we have Scarlet Sunflower. That one's returning for all you Scarlet Sunflower fans. So I'll take one out. All right, Scary Good. Scary Good is returning, so Scary Good. Scary Good is like a, a spice pumpkin scent with almost like a marshmallow char, 
almost like, I don't know if marshmallow, but almost like a smoky vanilla kind of note to it. That's what I get. Silver Bells. There we go. Silver Bells is thankfully returning to the catalog. Oh, we have that. Put that in here and that one in the back. So it's like a minty candy cane body care caramel vanilla scent. It's very, very pretty. Sips of Cider is the next one here, but this one is not returning. So this is a new release, not last year, but the year before, I believe. And so this one is not returning. So I'll put that aside in a different pile just to make a priority to melt through. Sleigh Ride is the next one. Oh, here's another one that's not returning. Velvet Moon. Look at the color difference in there. So this one would be older probably, so newer. The Velvet Moon is not returning. That was in the floral section, I believe, of the fall winter. So this is obviously a newer bag. Look how easy it is to see through. Okay, so after Velvet Moon, what is returning? Well, we have Sleigh Ride. I think I mentioned Sleigh Ride is coming. And Sleigh Ride is one I've never actually warmed. So I, I kept trying to warm it. I just never got to it. Um, let's just pull these ones up. The next one on the list is Snowberry after Sleigh Ride. So Snowberry is one that I have in the singles. So I remember I had a, maybe like 15 of these to warm through and I, I finally did. So now I have just that one. Um, Squeeze the Day is carrying over. Vanilla Amber is a new scent coming in the catalog. Vanilla Burnwood is an LTO scent from the well, I think it was the holiday collection, and that is going to be part of the catalog, so that is nice. Vanilla Bean Buttercream is in there already. Very Snowy Spruce. I see that here. Very Snowy Spruce. I also have some of these. Oh, no. I think I finally warmed this for Tester Tuesday. So Very Snowy Spruce. I will just put those in the back here. Very Vanilla is carried over, and I don't have a spare one, but when I eventually do, it'll go in there. Weathered Leather is already in there. Welcome Home is in there. White Peach and Cranberry is a new release. So that is coming and we'll be able to smell that mid-August. White Pumpkin and Driftwood is an LTO scent from the Harvest Collection that's made its way in. I don't have a, a tester of those because they didn't provide it with, with testers, but I have a bar. And Winterberry Apple Tea is the last one. Winterberry Apple Tea. So I will put that top one in. It actually looks like it's in better shape color-wise, but uh, yeah, that is the last one, and this one is in the catalog. So I will put this back, and I have this. Now what I will do with the spare one is I did take out some scent circles. I will put some scent circles and stuff in here, and I'll just show you what I have in the bottom one. It's just a few car bars. So it's just a few car bars. I have dated them, and I usually try to use up the oldest ones first if I can. So not for, not for sale, just to show you. So before we sign off, I just wanna see, so we have three that are extra, just singles, and then Christmas Cuddles is an old, old tester, so I'll just ignore that one. Same with Toasted Acre or an Oak, that was from way before. But I still have three testers here, and I just wanted to highlight these three are not returning. So not returning is Palo Santo and Cinnamon. Golden Garland. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm losing my mind. Golden Garland. Where's the other scent? I don't see Oh, God, where did it go? Okay, sorry. I, I retrieved them. Those I got to warm. And not returning is Fall Feeling. So those are not returning. So, sorry, I forgot. I forgot to highlight that. Hopefully I get everything. I'll, I, I'll put the split screen or I'll put a, a, a picture of the thing up. As, and it is a bad quality picture, but it's the only one I've got. What I usually do is take my um, take my catalog and kind of go through. So our, uh, Apple Cherry Strudel X for not returning. Black Currant and Plum not returning. Blackberry Spice by the Sea. Dashing. Fall Feeling. Fluffy Fleece. Frosted Vanilla. Frosty Air. Golden Garland, Huckleberry Hideaway, Lemon Drizzle Cake, Palo Santo and Cinnamon, Perfect Day, Red Currant Wreath. Oh yes, Red Currant Wreath because I didn't have a spare one of that. Sips of Cider, Sunkissed Citrus is not returning, Velvet Moon not returning, White Amber and Silk and White Amber Teak all not returning. 
So yes, um, I hope you were able to club the ones that were important to you or at least stock up. If not, put them on your list to try to get them back. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.